are accessories boring? Are videos about accessories boring? Well, not today. On this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five essential accessories that are unique and cool. Stick around, I'm Joel Strickland, and this is Surviving Duck Season. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, accessories are essential. Accessories enhance our gear and help it to work better, make it more comfortable to use. But accessories are often not very exciting and just plain unmemorable. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you five of my essential accessories that all have their own unique cool factor, not just plain and boring. Now, a blind bag is invaluable to me. It gives me a place to carry my shells, extra calls, even tools. There's so many types of blind bags out there. Now, some guys like to use a small bag just to put a couple of boxes of shells and maybe a snack and a drink, while other guys like to have a great big bag that they can pack full of lots of stuff. That's me. So this is the Rigam Right bag. Uh, I really like this one a lot. I bought it, I don't know, probably four years ago, and it's fantastic. It's big, it's got lots of compartments in it to, uh, Put just about anything you need and then you put several boxes of shells in here uh, as you can see I have a, a few headlamps uh, stuck in here I'll talk a little bit about, about more about those later uh, it's got these little pouches here where you can put uh, things that, that might possibly get wet you can put a license in here your wallet keys a phone things like that uh, that, that's what's great about this. It's very intentionally designed to put uh, specific types of things like right here where you would put your sunglasses so you don't crush them. That's the Rig and Right Shell Shocker XLT blind bag. I really like mine. Another company that makes some great bags is Aves. This is a really nice medium sized bag, but the one that I'm really excited about is this Aves Waterfowler's Backpack. Now this thing is awesome. It is very intentionally designed. You can see the bottom is waterproof here and here, so you can carry it like a duffel bag using this handle right here, set it down, and if there's a little bit of mud and water on the bottom, it's not gonna ruin what you got inside of it. Or you can set it up right like this. You can also hang it on a tree or strap it around a tree. Undo these straps here and it opens up. Uh, you can actually put a shotgun in here if you want to and carry, it, carry your shotgun in, which is really cool. Uh, you open this up right here, and then it's got these little shelves that you can put stuff in. Here's another headlamp, as you can see. But uh, you can put shotgun shells, you can put you know, tools. If you're working on something, it makes it real handy to have it right there. Uh, there's these little, little mesh zipper pockets here that you can put, place things in. Uh, and then, this is, is hard all the way around. It's got padding, but then the outside is hard, so you're not gonna crush stuff. When you open it up like this, you could put things like choke tubes in here. And again, you could put sunglasses. Then it also has another pouch in the bottom, which is pretty spacious. You could shove some stuff down in there, but then it's also got the rain cover to go over the, uh, the entire bag so you can keep it waterproof. Very well thought out, um, you know, excellent bag. I've used this one for a season and a half and it's done really, really well. All right, now, one thing that you noticed in every one of these blind bags I've opened, I have had a headlamp in it. I mean, there was several in each one of these bags. And why do you have so many headlamps? Well, first of all, they're like left-handed gloves. People leave them in my truck. They leave them in my side-by-side. -side. I found them in blinds. I found them, you know, in the trail when I've gone back in. People just drop them and leave them. And then I wind up buying some myself. I've got several of them. And so they're really valuable to have because when you go in in the morning and you're getting ready for your hunt, uh, it's, it's great to be able to see what you're doing without having to hold a flashlight, that sort of thing. So, uh, like I said, they're, they're invaluable. Now, you can use these uh, inexpensive plain Jane models that you get at the checkout line at the store, 20 bucks. Uh, really, they work fine for what I, what I do. Uh, I only need something uh, to look maybe 30 feet in front of me. I'm not using it to navigate 
a long distance. I'm not running a boat up the river, that sort of thing. If you are, you need something that's a lot brighter, uh, something that's got more features, then you might want to use something like this. This has got some cool factor. It's super duper bright. It's got several settings. Uh, there are some out there that are made more for guys that are like coon hunters that are like really really bright uh, big game hunters that have a red or a green mode so that the big game can't see them uh, that's the cool factors in some that you might be interested in looking at uh, but for me like i said just the cheap version works just perfectly for me now i want to jump in with a bonus it's going to be a shameless plug for gear that every serious duck hunter needs and that's surviving duck season merch caps t-shirts, quarters at pullovers, even some summer hoodies. They're high quality and all sport the Surviving Duck Season logo on them. Show your support for my free content and pick up some merch on the website survivingduckseason.com or check out the link in the description part of this video. Duck strap or game tote. There's a lot of types of duck totes out there. We've all seen the different versions of the wire coat hanger style of duck totes. You know, the kind that you uh, work the duck's head and neck into and you hang them that way. I've always been a leather strap kind of guy like these. Uh, there's a lot of really nice ones available. Uh, these have been around for years and years and years. I've got some that are 25 years old and really like them a lot. So which way do you hang your ducks up? Do you do it by the head or by the feet? Let me know down in the comments. I'm a feet up guy. Always have been. It's the old school way to do it and they definitely look better for pictures. All right. I want to show you, this is the bare tote made by Heyday Decoys. You can put your, your ducks on these little, very minimalistic type of deal. It's got the decoy cord is basically what this is, and then they've got a way that you can just put the leg of the duck right here and hang them up by the leg and by the feet. And then you can put it on the bare strap, which is this and you can hang multiple limits on one strap. So if you want to take a picture with it, looks really cool. Uh, you, you know, if you're like me, I'm a guide, I'm gonna have probably four or five guys with me so I can hang everybody's limit uh, separated, but also on one strap, makes it super convenient to carry it out as well. So that's the bear strap and the bear tote from Heyday. Gun cases, how do you make gun cases cool? Well, a soft shotgun case is a must-have. Hard cases certainly protect, but they're often heavy and bulky. Fine for travel, but not practical on the hunt. Now, over the years, I have bought and used so many. Most of the big waterfowl companies all have them available. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of success with their offerings. Uh, some of the worst ones are from the same companies who brought us leaky waders. Now the biggest problems I've had out of shotgun cases are number one, the zipper failing, and number two, the inside of them ripping when you put the shotgun down in them. What are you gonna do? But last year, I got one of these AVs folding gun cases. It's the hybrid hard shell floating shotgun case. And uh, it's, as you can see, it's hard here, and then it's soft in the middle that allows you to bend it. Now inside the case, um, you can see it's got a really fantastic zipper and then it's it's padded got some leaves and junk inside but I use this case all last duck season it's great I I, uh, I didn't baby it it's got mud you know you can see mud stuck to it and, and all that but uh, it's been a, a fantastic case the zipper definitely didn't fail on me I highly recommend it it's a great case and what's good about the folding part is if you need to tuck it out of the way, if you happen to want to carry it in the blind with you and you want to get it out of the way, you can just fold it up, put it up like that. You can tell this was designed by duck hunters because it's very well thought out and a great product. Okay, now while we're talking about shotgun cases, let's talk about another accessory for shotguns. Uh, it's a gunsling. Now, there's a lot of gunslings available too and again, I haven't been really impressed with a lot of them. Most of them are all the same, but this is the Bear Sling, again, by Heyday, and it's a fantastic idea. Now, this is, again, the cord, just like they use on their uh, their decoy rigging, and they decided, hey, let's, let's try something else with it. So what they did was they attached it to the swivels that go at the top and at the bottom uh, and use it as a sling. Now, the first time I saw it, I said to myself, 
is that going to be very comfortable? I mean, is that going to dig into your arm? Look, I've used this thing for either two or three years. I can't remember. I've, I've used it a lot, and it's great. There are certainly times that I might like to have something with a little bit of padding, but for the most part, I've used this pretty much every day of duck season for the last two years. Uh, it does not dig into my arm. It actually, you don't even realize it's there. And another great thing about it is if you do a lot of layout hunting, you can leave it on your gun. And some people may not need that, but for me as a guide, I like to have a sling because after we shoot our geese, I got to get up and handle my dog and sometimes I'm going out there and picking up birds and I like to have a sling over my shoulder while I'm doing that. So this bear sling doesn't get in the way when you're in a layout blind. So I really like it a lot. This is the bear sling. Now as a companion product, I want to show you this. This is the bear hanger. And so what you do, we're going to put it on right here just like this. This is in the spot that you would normally put your sling. You only have to put it at the top because you don't need anything on the bottom. And then what you do is if you have a place where you've got a hook, uh, you know, a little stop coming out on a tree or something like that, that can hang, you can hang your shotgun while you're hunting. It's really easy. And then all you got to do is grab your gun and pull it right off of it. And you're ready to, to shoot when it's time to do that. Uh, it's a great, great product if you don't need a sling, but you want to have a way that you can hang your gun up. That's the bear hanger from Heyday. Now, if you miss this video right here, make sure you check it out. I'm Joel Strickland. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next video.